Hello learners, this is the video solution for the question number 6 in the week 5 graded assignment in computational thinking. Let's get into the question. The question reads that we take the variable out list obtained at the end of execution of the pseudo code in the previous question. Now we execute the following pseudo code. In the first line we assign 0 to 3 variables namely somewhere count and i. For each x in outlist, somewhere is equal to somewhere plus length of x. For each y in x, if the last y was a noun, we increment count by 1. And once we exit for each y in x, we increment the value of i by 1. And the loop continues. Now just for the sake of recap, Let's see what outlist looked like at the end of execution of the previous question. It is to be noted that the length of outlist depends on the length of the paragraph and the words data set and many other factors. So this is what outlist essentially looks like where each element in outlist was actually in list which was basically one sentence within the paragraph. So the first iterator x basically iterates through every element with an outlist and the iterator y iterates through every word within my list or within my in list and sees if the last y was a noun then it appends count by 1. So question A reads what does the variable count store at the end of execution? The first option is it is the number of nouns in the paragraph. So it's not exactly counting the number of nouns. It is counting if the last word was a noun, only then will it increment count by 1. So the first option is wrong. The second option reads, it is the number of nouns in the first sentence of the paragraph. This is also wrong. The third option reads, it is the number of sentences in the paragraph that begin with a noun. This is also wrong. Why? Because it is counting the number of words that come after a noun. So the correct answer here is none of the above. Now going to part B. The question reads, what does the variable somewhere show at the end of execution? So we see here that somewhere is basically being incremented by the length of x. We see that x iterates through each element of outlist and the length of each element is basically the number of lists within it. So in this example we see that the first list contains three elements which means it increments itself by three in the first iteration. In the second iteration it will increment itself by three and so on and so forth depending on the length of each list. So what is it basically doing? It is basically counting the number of words within my paragraph. And from the options we can see that option number 1 is the correct answer. So let me clear the screen here. So the option C as we can see reads Which of the following statements are true about the variable i at the end of execution? And this is a multiple select question. So from here we can see that i gets incremented every time we end a for each x in outlist. Which means it is essentially calculating the number of sentences within the paragraph. So let's see which all options come close to this answer. Option number 1 reads that it is the number of words within the paragraph. So we know that that option is wrong. 
Option number two reads, it is the number of sentences in the paragraph. This option is correct. Option number three reads, it is equal to the number of elements in outlist. And since we know that each element in outlist is essentially one sentence in the paragraph, option number two, uh, pardon me, option number three is also correct. It is equal to the number of elements in inlist. So we know that inlist is basically an element of outlist. So this option is wrong. Now the fourth option reads, it is equal to the length of outlist. Now the length of outlist is the length or the number of elements in outlist, which means it is also a correct option. And the last option reads that it is the number of characters in the paragraph. Since we have already seen that option number two is correct, we can rule out option number five. So let's just go back for part A. The correct option was none of the above. For part B, the correct option was it is the number of words in the paragraph. And option, uh, pardon me, the uh, part C were option number two, option number three, and option number five. Thank you, learners.